everybody welcome back to my kitchen you guys today we're gonna do this easy recipe for those of you that want something delicious and simple and quick you're not touching a pound cake with a 10-foot pole because you just feel like you can't do it you don't feel like doing a pound cake or a layer cake you want something quick simple and easy that's what we're doing today and making this easy pecan praline cake. Speaking of pecans, <clears throat> mm, excuse me, you guys, I roast, toast my pecans. Y'all, take the moment to do that. Doesn't take long. I left my oven, it's preheated to 350 degrees, so I put them in there for about seven or eight minutes. Just keep your eyes on them because you don't want to scorch them. But when I tell you, it brings out the nuttiness in the pecans or your nuts. Ooh, it's hot. It really does, okay? So, although we're doing a quick recipe today, it can still be delicious. I'm gonna add a couple of other things to enhance my easy cake today, for example, taking the time to roast or toast my pecans. That's just what I prefer to do. Again, we are using a box cake today. I know some of y'all can't stay in a box cake. But y'all, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, to each his own. But for those who really want something simple and quick to do and they don't want to do a pound cake, I'm trying to do something for everybody. Plus, I too love quick, simple recipes, desserts. You know, holidays are coming. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time in the kitchen. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So, I wish Duncan Hines had a butter pecan cake mix. I can never find one. I don't think they do make it. But we're going to start by using this Betty Crocker Super Morse Butter Pecan Mix. You guys, have you all realized that they have changed the size? <clears throat> mm, mm, excuse me. That they've changed, they've made the ingredients on the inside less. This is a 13.25. I think they used to do, let's see what size. Was it a 14 something? No, 15. Like this box right here says 15.25. That's the Duncan Hines. Y'all, the boxes are the same size. They trying to trick us. The boxes are the same size, but they just giving you less ingredients on the inside. Ain't that a blimp? <laughs> Ain't that a blimp? <laughs> In any event, so we're gonna use this butter pecan. Y'all, I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a tickle in my throat. But this box of butter pecan mix, and while I'm talking about it, I'm just gonna go on and dump it in my bowl okay we will need let's see that's right give me all that cake mix this ain't but a little bit in here okay we're also gonna need I'm looking at my ingredients that I wrote down a tub of this coconut pecan frosting you guys this is going to be real interesting because this kind of puts me in the mind of you know that icing for the german chocolate cake i'm just gonna you know i think i want to nook this nook it. it's just a few seconds so it'll come out easier um so one tub of that and then we have four eggs. I have four large eggs that I've already cracked. They are room temperature. Just to soften it up a little bit. And then three fourth cups of vegetable oil. One cup of, like the box calls for water, honey. I'm not doing water. I'm going to do a cup of milk or half and half. This is actually half and half. Half and half. Again, anything I can do to kind of enhance this uh, cake mix. Half a cup of chopped pecans. So I think I'm going to add half of them to the batter. 
And then when we do the praline sauce, I'll add the rest. Okay. And then me, honey, I have to add some flavor. I'm going to add some of my butter vanilla to the mix as well. And this is going to be so easy, you guys. We're just going to mix it all up at one time. We're baking this in a 9 by 13 casserole dish. I've sprayed it with some Baker's Joy. And for the sauce part that's going to go over the top, we're just going to heat up this one can of sweetened condensed milk. Not evaporated milk. Sweetened condensed milk, okay? You already know if you've been here for a while, I have cleaned off. I have washed off thoroughly the top of this can. Y'all, these cans are nasty. Y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. They've been on them tractor trailer trucks in them grocery stores. In them warehouses, people's nasty hands been all over the top of these cans. Little rodents and, and insects and bugs been crawling all over and licking all on the top. Y'all wash these cans off. Because they nasty. And while you at it, make sure you wash your nasty hands too. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, y'all. Going out of 2023 into 2024, that's still nasty. You already know that. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm going to go on and open this while I have it right in. Okay? So that's my sweetened condensed milk that I'm going to need in just a little bit. And to that, we're going to add about two or three tablespoons of butter. Let me see. I think I have enough left right here to get at least a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter um, when I make that sauce. Is that everything oven is preheated to 350 degrees this is going to bake maybe about 35 to 40 minutes. It's going to depend on your oven. But you all, I'm not even pulling out. I'm not going to use my big mixer. I'm not even going to use my hand mixer, y'all. I'm going to mix this up by hand. I want you to see how quick it is. Now, you don't have to do that. I'm not saying, let it listen, Madonna. You're taking it too far now. Listen. I'm going to use my hand mixer. That's fine. Use your hand mixer. Um... But I want you to see how easy this is. I'm not going to use a mixer. I'm just going to use my little whisk. And again, with even baking a cake, you're not trying to get this batter silky smooth. So even having some lumps is fine. You don't want to over mix this batter either. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys over here. I'm looking around trying to make sure that that is everything. I've got the cake mix, coconut frosting, the four eggs. Three fourth cups of vegetable oil, one cup of half and half, half cup of chopped toasted roasted pecans. And then that sauce, we're gonna do the one can of sweetened condensed milk, two tablespoons of butter, and about a half cup of pecans. All right, all right. Now let's watch. I want y'all to see how quick and easy, quick and easy this is. Okay. I'm excited to taste this one, honey. I already feel like I need some vanilla ice cream. All right, I'm gonna start by just making sure I have all of the lumps out of my cake mix. With these eggs, I'm gonna go in and break up these yolks so it will be easier to incorporate them. Okay. It's gonna be so Easy. Let's stir up this frosting a little bit. And you guys, I'm real funny about coconut. It's like I like a coconut flavor, but I don't necessarily like the coconut flakes. I don't know. I guess it's something about the texture. So this is going to be interesting for my palate. Real interesting. I 
Okay, we're adding the vegetable oil. This is our one cup of milk. My vanilla, my butter vanilla. Wait a minute, I like to shake it a little bit first. Okay. And all we're going to do is mix. doesn't take long at all, y'all. Look at that. All I'm trying to do is make sure I have all this cake mix moistened and mixed in here. And that's it, y'all. That's it. Let's see. Let me get half of these pecans and... I probably could have broken them up a little bit. Most of them are chopped. Some pieces are larger than other pieces. But it's okay because I also want to make sure I know that I'm eating some pecans. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay. We'll save the rest for sauce. Y'all, if this here ain't easy, easy peasy, we're just gonna fold these in. And y'all, just like that, this is ready to go in the oven. Got my casserole dish. Let me slide some of this stuff over out of the way. Easy peasy. Y'all, you gotta love it. I told y'all, some of y'all that go to these bakeries, y'all would be surprised. Who don't drop the bowl, girl. Y'all would be surprised some of these bakeries that also incorporate cake mix with other ingredients. Honey, it don't matter to me as long as it tastes good. As long as it tastes good. But, again, to each his own. So for those of you who really feel like everything has to be done by scratch, you know what? That's your prerogative. If that's what you want to do, then that is A-okay. I think we need to normalize people's preferences. Okay, we're going in 350. I'm going to say it for about 35 minutes to start off. But like I was saying, I think we need to normalize people's preferences. If someone wants to um, only bake from scratch, then that's their prerogative. And the flip side of that, if someone else wants to use box cake mixes or just do things that makes cooking and baking easier for them, that's their prerogative. There's no right or wrong way. You know what? I, I say celebrate our differences. Okay? All right. Now. I think I'm going to go on and work on the sauce. And then that way it can just, you know, I don't have a problem. Because it's going to sit anyway. Because I'm trying to decide if I want to pour this all over the cake or not. <clears throat> so it can soak in or just wait in any event. Okay, we're taking... That's probably just a tad bit more 
them two tablespoons. And we just want to start melting this. We're going to add our sweetened condensed milk. And you guys, we're not trying to get this to boil or anything. We just want to get it heated up. So I'm going to get it pretty hot. Like I say, we're not trying to bring it to a boil, okay? And then I'll just add my pecans once it's um, probably right before I get ready to use it. Once it gets warm, then I'll add my pecans. Okay, the sauce is hot, so I'm going to turn off the burner. Just because I want to, I'm going to add a little bit of my butter vanilla, just a little drop, and then I'm going to go on, I'm going to add the rest of these pecans. You guys, I guess you all can tell that my, I'm trying to keep these. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm trying to keep these pecans from going everywhere. Let me put it on this silicone mat so I can just slide them in there. Um, I was getting ready to say, I guess you can tell by my little tin pan, y'all. It is so old. It's definitely more than... 40 years old and it's one of those pieces that you know I just don't want to part with <laughs> now some of y'all probably say Miss Don that dog on cake that cake pan has seen better days that cake pan or sheet pan cookie tray whatever you want to call it is definitely sentimental to me so y'all leave my leave my pan alone. <laughs> yummy, yummy. You guys, we baked about 40 minutes. <clears throat> and I want to put some of the sauce over the top of it. And I want it to soak down a little bit, to soak in a little bit. So I'm putting holes so it will be able to soak. And I didn't want the holes too big, so that's why I'm using my little fork as opposed to, I know a lot of times people will use the back end of a wooden spoon. I don't want my holes that large. Here's what we're going to do. And I don't want to put all of the sauce on it yet. I'm going to save some for later. To be able to garnish the top. So I'm going to put just a little bit on here. Kind of spread it over it. of it dragging these pecans across it. And this is one of those times that I did want to add it while it was very hot. You know, normally we don't do glazes and garnishes and stuff while it's really hot. Especially if it's a type of glaze that you want to stay on the cake. Because it will melt right off. But with this being hot, honey, we want this to soak in. Ooh. This has to be some yummy goodness at its finest. Mm. 
Y'all, we can do taste test number two. When do number one, aka my husband gets here. Because honey, as for right now, I need to taste this right now by myself while it's warm. Oh. Y'all, I tried to find some vanilla ice cream. I do not have any. Oh my goodness. I just need to taste this by myself, y'all, while it's quiet. <laughs> He's not here and it's quiet. <sighs> Jesus, y'all. I'll show y'all a better picture, too. I'll show you a better picture once I garnish it, you know, like when I cut his piece. But I'm not doing all of that right now. Wait a minute. Let me put me just a little bit of extra sauce. Just a little bit. <laughs> I just want to taste it. Okay. That's good. The only thing, and I forgot until just now, when I bit into it. Oh, I taste that coconut. From the frosting. Mmm. Let me tell you something. If you want a delicious, simple dessert and you enjoy coconut and pecans, please try this if you've not already. Mm. I'm trying to eat around the edges <laughs> to avoid the coconut frosting. That's all right right there. Now that's going to make me try other mixes. Other cake mixes and put the icing in it. Without the coconut flakes. Because y'all know I do this chocolate lava cake that I can do in the microwave. And I put the icing inside that cake. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh, so I never thought about trying other recipes. And baking it like that and putting the... Ooh, wee. Anyway, I can't wait to see what my dude number one is going to say. So, I'll be back when he gets home. That's what you're going to have to tell me. I have to tell you what you made. No, no, I'm so a camera. I know one thing. Yes, you know. I know one thing. You made me wash my hands. It's time. It is time. It is time. It looks good. It sure looks good. I want to get, you want the, like the end? <laughs> get out the camera. No, little Robert. <laughs> you want the end piece or you want it like out of the middle? I just want a piece. You just want a piece? Just right, go that right there. No, no, wait, go, why you cut something? Look, what do you think, these brownies? No, no, I can do it right here. No, I just, okay, baby, you just go ahead. Yeah. You, just do what you feel. Go feel, 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 feel a bigger piece. Feel a bigger piece? Yeah, I'm just like, do what you feel, but just feel a bigger piece. I didn't cut that real pretty, but it sure did. I, I, I mean, I'm a, it's, right. it sure look, it's like I can I can guarantee that some like some some gingerbread, oh, not gingerbread, okay. but yeah, it looks like that. Oh, th th this is y'all. She is doing what you call a drizzle. It's a, it's a drizzle. Four, five. Great. <laughs> 
I didn't cut his piece real good, y'all, but listen. I'm going to use your fancy fork. Oh, you're using my fancy fork today? Oh, God. What? This is sure as that. Oh, this is more. This look. Wow. Tell me what you're tasting. This is moist. Is it good? Mm. I taste. What does it remind you? Well, what do you taste? This is good, for real, real, real. Um, I'm tasting coconut. Mm-hmm. Coconut. How you what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tasting. What does it remind? Does it remind Pecans. you of anything? Mm -hmm. I'm tasting them. You are. Mm, this is good. Oh, I thought that almost fell off the back side, baby. I was gonna... I'll lay down in the middle of the floor right here in front of these people and cry. Back up so they can see so we we'll cut the head off. It's good. Okay, look, look. In the meantime, let me show y'all why he back there. I didn't cut it good, y'all. No, it's mercy. This is. Is it good? Y'all try if you've not does it kind of remind you of this a, a comfort food? Does it kind of make sure that eyes off? Does it remind me of what? Don't make sense, but Oh Lord. I don't know that I wanna know. No, it's just like Let me see. I don't know what my no, I just with the pecan ice cream was I'm a, can I go on and put the rest of this over here? Look, as I'm doing it and ask me. I got some butter pecan ice cream I'm going to eat with it. You want me to save you some drizzle for another piece of going to put it all over the cake? Mm, this is good. Hey, you're not answering the question. I guess I'm going to do what I want to do since you're not answering. Make one kind of wrapper. Baby. This a bizzle. Leave me some drizzle. Miss Donna Bizzle. I could put that on there better than that. Mm. Yeah. This anyway, is good. It's a pecan praline cake. Okay. I added the rest of that um, drizzle on there. Are you going to look up? Mm -hmm. He ain't looking up at all, y'all. The rest of it on there. Oh, okay. Now listen, so it was easy, but um, it's made with a box cake, but you put the icing, you're taking a, you're, you're tasting a coconut pecan frosting, oh we've emptied the trash, it's inside the cake, and you mix it all up together, you put it in your bag, isn't it good? That's why it's so moist. It is, it's so comforting, it's mm. moist, you know, I'm funny about the texture of the uh, coconut though, so I can't. So pretty. You just saying that because I fixed my hair finally after looking like you did I was look looking back. But I, now you back, baby. You back. I look when I wasn't feeling good. That hair was plaited up, y'all. Y'all saw. You look like a broke sock. Show. I just uploaded the video of my hair earlier, too. But you so look good, baby. You look really. I feel like I'm coming back now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you look so nice. You like me walk around with them little plaits. Was I looking like Miss Silly? I probably could have played in a new color purple. You movie. look like Buckwheat. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Buckwheat. I just said to myself. Oh, for real? I said to myself. Bless her. She don't feel. I it. remember what she used to look like. <laughs> but I'm going to stick with her and see what this thing going to come out to me. That's how you baby. Don't say that. Well, I'm right there with you, baby. But I said to myself. I'll be thinking about hair when I'll be feeling You were sleeping. Good. You were sleeping. And I rubbed your hair back. I said, just stay down, y'all. Stay down. Uh uh. You don't even. She's going to pop it back up. Like, <laughs> I thought you was a unicorn. You, you did said, not. Lay it back and say, rain. Lay it back and say, rain. <laughs> oh, you want to talk junk now. Look, tell you how you do me, look, two faced but. No, you was down, babe. I know you was down. I've been down. down. Look, I feel better. And that's why I was like, I have to do. I interrupted my schedule yesterday because I'm like, I have to do something to this hair. Anyway, if y'all haven't seen that video, check it out too, okay? But anyway, so it's. Baby, I, there is nothing else on this salsa. There's nothing else on this salsa. What is that? Nothing else on this salsa. Anyway, it's all gone. So it's good. 
So y'all, and speaking of hair, y'all, let me, we talk about everything. I know Perfect. we just baked the cake, but we talk about everything. Perfect. You guys, let me know if you want me to give you some detailed information. A couple of you have asked, Miss Donna, what's wrong with your skin? I know I did a video uh, I can tell what she's doing. several weeks ago where I really amp up my exfoliation oh, yes. during the winter time. So she's that's why you see the uneven skin tone. And y'all know I don't be doing a whole lot of makeup. That's why I be like, look, it is what it is. So, but if y'all want me to do something detailed about It's like primer. Skin, she removing all of the... <laughs> just... Listen, sir, don't, don't do that. I'm don't, just saying she's, she's removing it all and then she'll start fresh again. <laughs> So, if y'all want some more detailed information about that, just let me know. I know we're supposed to be talking about a cake. Could but you imagine that I when uploaded, fuck with it? She had that was something. When I uploaded the video about my hair, I think somebody asked about Miss Donna, what's wrong with your skin? So, I talked about it a little bit before, and I guess they probably missed that video. But I've never done anything about skin care. We may talk about y'all. Just let me know. So that's what's going on. That's why you see the unevenness. Y'all never talk about skin. And I don't. I'm, I never. I don't never. Know. I've never done like a video about my skincare. Mm -hmm. And although I can do like a BB cream or something to kind of pat on and even it up, I just don't do that. I'm not. Listen, y'all be seeing the raw me. That's her. And listen, we're changing. We're changing. We are changing. We are, I'm gonna draw a fluff, a fluffy. Um, listen. This right here. Ain't about. Don't they need to know about, about, about me too? We, we can show them. We, we, we can talk about that later. Okay. I just had to. Go play. Listen. <laughs> anyway, if you guys just enjoyed the video, look, if y'all like, I was gonna ask you when I said what does it remind you of? I thought you may have you were gonna say maybe like German chocolate cake or something. I almost added some chocolate in there to make right, I may try to find no, I may try to find the German chocolate um I'm not sure. No, no, listen, the German chocolate cake mix and then put the stuff in it and then it'll taste like German chocolate. Oh, that's good right there. But then you can do a different kind. Okay, I'll do it. Although I don't eat German chocolate. Okay, anyway, you guys, please. Just take it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, hit the nosy. Please consider doing so. That's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll know what's going on. Okay, whatever we're doing, whatever it is we're doing on here. Y'all, he must be really happy that I have done this this head of mine because I was just looking and feeling rough. That's anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I really look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Talk oh, babe. My hair must have looked real bad. You look real good. Ooh, you got me back, babe. You got me back. You fixed you. <laughs> you fixed it.